And a government shutdown means local veterans won't get the chance to visit the World War II Memorial on their honor flights to Washington, D.C. And this caused some tense moments on Capitol Hill yesterday. And WEMY Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Paula Castro was there with the member of Congress who helped get the memorial built. The World War II Memorial is shut down. The fountains are off, the signs are up, but Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur is here anyway. The American people didn't vote for this. Uh, they voted for a government that operates. The Congresswoman came to the memorial just hours after this scene. A group of Mississippi Honor Flight veterans managed to enter the memorial even though it's technically closed, bringing in some Republican big guns with them. Sort of a pushback of the American people saying, you know, you can do better than this. You can see the monuments actually blocked off with a barricade, leaving tourists no other option but to take pictures from afar. It just makes me worry that something could happen, something major. There could be a complete shutdown of everything. This veteran and his family made the trip to Washington, and now they're disappointed. I thought it was really pretty, but it kind of was sad that everything was shut down. For Captor, what's happening here is personal. She helped get the memorial built after an Ohio veteran did this. Roger Durbin yelled out at me at a fish fry in a Jerusalem Township. Congresswoman Captor, why is there no World War II memorial in Washington, D.C.? So as lawmakers try to figure out how to end the shutdown and reopen this memorial, there are questions that beg to be asked. What would you say to someone that calls all of this a dog and pony show? There are Republican lawmakers out here this morning. Now there's a Democratic lawmaker out here using the display that this is shut down as a talking point. Well, this member of Congress didn't vote to shut the government down, and she feels bad that Americans and visitors from afar have come here, but they can't fully experience the memorial. A place that's meant to honor our veterans. A place that's now caught in the political divide. Reporting in Washington, I'm Jacqueline Paul Castro.